I always feel smart when I bet on an underdog. Like, um, <laughs> like there was two fights recently where like, um, so Alex Pahea, the middleweight champion right now, he was a big underdog against Israel Adesanya. I was like, man, f he's going to beat Izzy's ass. And no one fucking, and everyone was always like, oh, Izzy's going to just dominate him. And then Alex beat his fucking ass. I was like, yep, I'm fucking smart. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Under a minute, yeah, I might. And then that was, yeah. And then there was another fight. That was Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman. Everyone was saying Kamaru was gonna fucking dominate him, and he did. And then Leon kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> I was, I felt super smart because before that fight, I was like, Leon's got him. Leon's got this in the bag. <laughs> felt super smart. But then I also have fights like Charles Oliveira versus Islam, where I'm like, Charles is gonna beat his ass, and then Islam just wins, and then I cry. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Ow? I'll leave. Hold on. I'm going to reset the share play. I'm about to do a new share play. Yeah, there we go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful take up. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Miacic is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Overing's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes to your point. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Key to the body. Now goes in and... Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? See where he goes from here. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Overeem gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. You and your fucking steroided ass body is taking every single punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the eye. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, what a shot to the body. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> the was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Boom. <laughs> with the body shots. <laughs> yeah. 